Would you like some coffee? Is there someone we can call for you? Found this. Friend, family member? Would you like to go to the hospital? Do you understand where you are right now? Is that your name? Emily Riggs? I'll be right back. Problem, officer. May I have to ask you to step out of your vehicle, ma'am? You failed to indicate your lane change about a mile back. My lane change? Yes, ma'am. You're kidding, right? Moving violations are nothing to joke about, ma'am. I'm going to give you a warning this time. Don't let it happen again. Lovely. I found it at an estate sale in Winslow. <laughs> Told you it was worth the drive. Yeah. How much? Four hundred. <laughs> Guy inherited the house. He wanted everything gone. It's worth three times that. You stole it. Yep. It's been in their family for three generations. Never understand why people want to sell their history. Well, it's lucky for us they do. Oh, before I forget, um, Glenda called. She's doing a wedding tomorrow at Trinity. She thought you and Matt might want to stop by. Matt. 
It's his wedding, too. Yeah, well, as much as I love Matt, I don't think he gives a damn about the flowers. Charles and Jordan, hey, you're welcome, and I'll see you next time I'm in town, okay? Thank you. All right. See you. Okay. Say hey to Glenda when you see All you. All right. after we're married. I think it's gorgeous, but way over our budget. You're forgetting. You get the Martha is my oldest and dearest friend discount. Oh, this better be my lilies. It's not. I better go call. Emily. <laughs> Emily. It's me. It's Paul. I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. My name is Karen. You don't know who I am? Should I? Huh. Is this some kind of joke? Like I said, you're wrong. You came over to the house with some wild story. You change your hair, but, but I would recognize you anywhere. Emily, what's happened to you? Nothing's happened to me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm Paul Riggs. I'm your husband. That's it. I'm sorry, you've made a mistake. This is not a mistake. Don't you think I know my own wife? Stand away from the vehicle, sir. Emily. Emily. 
still don't like it. Why? I'm meeting him in a public place. I'll be fine. Well, he could be dangerous. You don't know. He's not. If you could have put him on the phone. The guy's in a lot of pain, Matt. He lost his wife. Well, I feel for him. I still don't want you going. Well, he's not going away until he sees me. Well, how about I throw him in jail? That'd make him go away. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's just add to his misery. Would you relax? No. I'm worried about you. Look, I can handle it. Let's not fight about this. I just, I don't know why you're doing it. It's a cup of coffee. We meet. He sees I'm not who he thinks I am. That'll be the end of it. What? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't worry about you. Well, why don't you call Glenda and the two of you can uh, discuss the flower arrangements. I think I'd rather worry. Half an hour. You're not back. I'm going to come over there. Yes, sit down, sit down. I know this must be very difficult for you. I can imagine it's very difficult for me, too. Uh, I can't believe that you're really here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I've, I've been looking for you for so long. Not, not for me. You haven't been looking for me. That, that's why I agreed to meet with you. So you could see for yourself I'm not your wife. My name is Karen Winthrop. I work for an antique dealer downtown, and at the moment, my life is consumed with planning my wedding next month. And if I'd been married before, I think I would remember it. More coffee? You, ma'am? No, thanks. Have you always lived here? No, I moved here about four years ago. In October? How did you know that? My wife left four years ago, October 7th. And we feared the worst because we couldn't believe she would just leave us like that. And then we just kept hoping and hoping. And then last week, my brother saw her. He saw you, Emily. You still do that. You play with your locket when you're nervous or upset. I'm sorry. I thought again. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Play. Let me just let me just show you this. Okay. This is this is pictures of our life together, yours and mine. Just 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 take a second, please. Take it off. Do you remember her? This is our daughter, Jessica. She's nine years old and she wonders where her mother is. Look, Emily, I, I don't know what happened to you or why it happened to you, but I do know that since you left, there has not been a single day when I haven't worried about you and loved you and wanted you back. And now, after all this time, I finally found you, and I want you to come home. We'll work it out, whatever it is, we'll work it out, but I want you to come home. Talk to me, Karen. Or is it Emily? I don't know. You don't know. I don't understand this. I know. 
that my favorite color is red. I know the foods I like to eat, the books I've read, the movies I've seen. I just don't remember how I know. That doesn't make sense. It's always been like that for me. I thought everyone's memories were like that. So everything you told me, being abandoned, foster homes, it was all lies? I don't know. It felt real. Are you in love with me? Matt? Are you? I mean, do you even know that? I love you. How do you know? Did it ever occur to you that maybe you left for a reason? I have to see her, Matt. She's my daughter. Well, how do you know? Because some guy you didn't even know existed until two days ago says she is? What if it's true? What if it is? Do you want me to just abandon her? That is not what I'm saying. I have to see her. Socks. What? Forgot to pack your socks. I feel like I'm losing you. I'm scared. I'm scared too. You have no idea. But I have to find out the truth. I want to come with you. I'm coming back. Please try and understand. I am trying, Karen. Believe me, I'm trying. I know. Let me, let me take you back. Is this, this all you have? You're traveling a little light. Well, I didn't know how long I'd be staying. That's fair enough. Look familiar? Well, let me, let me take this upstairs. Is there a guest room? Yes, there is a guest room. I'll, I'll put it in there. Look around. It was our Christmas card four years ago. House is immaculate. Oh, well, we have a housekeeper. She comes in in the morning, she takes Jessica to school, and then she stays here till I get home. Do I know her? Faye? Oh, sure, she worked with you a couple of days a week. But it was 
pretty much you who took care of the house. You, you designed it, you decorated it. It was your pride and joy. It's pretty much the way you left it. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't remember any of it. Hello, I'm home. We're back here. And this is... Jessica. Hi. Your hair is different. You're different too. You're older and bigger. Daddy said you didn't remember us. Oh, Mama hasn't been well, sweetheart. Doesn't matter. Forgot about you too. Jessica, wait a minute. Jessica! I apologize. Oh, it's okay. Um, she has a right to feel that way. Well, she'll come around. Uh, you want to see your bedroom? to say I love you and I miss you. This is, isn't it? Me being here. What happened to you? I don't know. Daddy said you have amnesia. You got sick and you can't remember anything. I didn't mean to hurt you. It doesn't hurt anymore. I don't believe that. Why did you come back if you don't even remember us? Because I want to remember. Why? You'll just leave again. Jessica, Emily, come on down. Jessica. Hello, hello everybody. Do you know why I left? Because you didn't want us anymore. Come on in. Hey, hi, Mom. Hi, dear. What? How's it going? Uh, come in, come in. Grandma! Baby! <laughs> oh, oh, nice of you to bring something. so pretty. It looks great. I brought you something. <laughs> it's okay. It's just family. It's a difficult time. I'm sure. Come on. It'll be all right. Come on. This is my mother, Phyllis. It's good to have you home, dear. Thank you. Remember me? I'm sorry, I don't seem to remember people or faces very well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long, hard road for all of us. I think we're just glad to have her back. <laughs> and this is my brother, Tom. Hi, Emily. Hi. I know you. I remember him. Yeah, you saw him in Southport. He's the one that found you. And this is my wife, Janet. It's good to see you again, Emily. Uh, and this is our neighbor, Donna. We're so glad to have you back. Thank you, Tom. Excuse me. Wait a minute.
How you doing? You really don't remember any of this, do you? You went nuts after it happened. I'll go help, Don. All we knew for sure was that you wandered off somewhere near the beach. Then the TV people got hold of it, and it was on the news and in the papers. Wives of prominent attorneys don't just vanish every day. And Paul almost lost everything he lost you. to do that. I understand we have a housekeeper. Oh, you do. But tomorrow's her day off. Paul says you've been living up north. Mm-hmm. I live in Southport, Virginia. I work for an antique dealer up there. Oh, well, that doesn't surprise me. You're always traipsing off to auctions and estate sales. You called it uh, treasure hunting. Unfortunately, Paul looks at antiques and sees used furniture. Donna, were we good friends? Our children go to school together. And your husband? You never met. I moved here after my divorce. Is it true you're engaged? I was. I am. I am. Can't imagine what he must think right now. He doesn't know what to think. Frankly, neither do I. You know, I've always thought that things happen for a reason. Sometimes it's best to leave them the way they are. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. I'm sorry. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. No, it was nice. You look exhausted. Why don't, you, why don't you go upstairs while I walk down the home? so peaceful I didn't want to disturb you. Breakfast is ready whenever you want to come down. Oh, and I'm taking Jessica to school with me this morning, so if you want to come with. I'd like that. Good. See you downstairs. Don't you remember it? I don't know. Every day you drop me off and pick me up right here. All right, Jessica. I, I know I should. Don't you remember anything? Jessica, stop it. I don't have to stop it. I didn't want her to come anyway. I said stop it! Emily. Emily, are you okay?
I can't get over how you changed. Your hair was darker, and it was longer. And you wear less makeup now. I like that. But you are still so, so beautiful. I'm sorry about this morning. She just needs more time. Like I do. Well, here's a, here's a little something to celebrate you being back. Is it still empty? But you keep wearing it. It bothers you. No, it just bothers me that you hold on to a past that you can't remember. I want to remember. What's important now is the future. Our future. Hmm. Our future. Your husband explained the situation. We called and asked me to see you. But I would like you to tell me how you feel. The truth? Mm-hmm. I feel like I've been robbed. Of what? My life. My sanity. One day, I I'm planning a wedding to a man I love very much. The next, I'm here with a new name. A husband, a daughter, an entire life I know nothing about. You're angry? <laughs> angry. <laughs> Guilty. Confused. I, I, I watch them watching me. Waiting for whoever I was to come back. Do you believe you're Emily Riggs? My husband asked me to bring all these things down from the attic. This is all mine? Yeah. He didn't throw away a thing. I'm glad you're back. doing why are you wearing those things because they're mine aren't they they're my mother's I am your mother Jessica we have to talk I have to do my homework it can wait you can be as rude to me as you want but I am not going away I don't blame you for hating me. But you have to understand, I didn't leave you. I left me. 
I ran away from myself. Why? I don't know. I didn't plan or think about it. It just happened. I know I hurt you. And you have to believe that if I could have stopped it, I would have. Sometimes I see you as a little girl. Just for a second. Like a dream. I dream about you all the time. to the beach. Donna said she'd take me. Oh, I can take you. Oh, why don't you have your mother sign it? It's tomorrow. We're studying tide pools. like you. She's got your eyes. This is some place you left behind. Why did you come here, Matt? Why do you think? I mean, you hadn't called in days. I was worried about you, Karen. Or do you prefer Emily now? Stop it. It's a nice house. This isn't helping. Am I supposed to just stop loving you? To figure out which life you want? Which husband? It's not that simple. <laughs> it is for me. I don't know how to just walk away from this. Neither do I. I had a life here, responsibilities, a daughter. What am I supposed to do? They're still in us. Love you. I know. I want you all to be careful. Stay close to the adults, and remember, we only collect to examine, then we're going to turn our specimens loose. Okay? Okay. okay. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I forgot my notebook. Go back and get it.
to catch up. Jessica, Jessica, are you Mr. Riggs? Yeah, what happened? Um, sir, I'm afraid your wife has disappeared. What? I'm Detective Ellis. This is Dr. Laney, the departmental psychologist. Do you know why you're here? No. Your driver's license led us to a Matthew Ramsey of Southport, Virginia. He told us about some sort of psychological trauma that you'd been experiencing. Is that true? Yes. If you can, could you tell me the last thing that you remember about this morning? I was at the beach. Alone? My daughter. I was with my daughter. We, uh... We joined her school group and began to walk along the beach. Anything else? I saw things. I. I don't know. I, my locket. All of your jewelry was taken when you were booked. It's with your other personals. It'll be returned to you. Karen Winthrop. Is that your real name? I don't know. My husband says. My real name is Emily Riggs. Paul Riggs? You've done this before, haven't you? Matt, where is she? Their relation here. Well, I'm sorry you had to come all this way. They called me. I came because I care about her. Well, that's that's nice, Matt. But this this is this is between me and my I wife don't want now. I see her. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't care what you think. 
I know that you don't care what I think, but Emily's in a very delicate state. Yes, and who put her there? And she was doing just fine before you popped back into her life. All of your personal items are in there. You okay? I'm sorry. I'm sure this must be very painful for both of you. What matters is you're all right. I'm okay. I don't know why this happened again. But right now, I'm worried about Jessica. And I'd like to see her. Okay, let's go. Karen. I'm sorry, Matt. Please don't make this any more difficult than it already is. What the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong? How could you just walk off and leave our daughter alone like that? I didn't just walk off. No, I don't know. This is the kind of example that you're going to set as a mother. You're going to scare the hell out of her? Talk about this at home. Get in the car. Get in the car. take Jessica to school. I'd like to take her. From now on, Faye will take care of Jessica when I can't. She didn't mean to do it, Daddy. She can't help it. It just happens. this to me. You can't just shut me out. You're dangerous to yourself and your daughter. I am doing the best I can. What do you want from me? What do I want? I want my wife back. That's what I want. I'm sorry. It's just that I've missed you. For four years I've missed you. Look, you, you, you see whoever you have to see, you do whatever you have to do, you get whatever help you need to get, I will support you. If you could only know how much I love you. You had a succession of remembrances. Yes. What were they about? Water, a woman, drowning. What did you see? but she can't she's afraid of what I don't know I, I, I can't see you can't see or she can't see
Karen, sometimes an event is so painful that in order to survive the impact of it, memory has to be shut down. You forget so that you can let life go on. You retain long-term memory, how to drive a car, how to dress yourself, but you lose the short-term identity of yourself. You fall into a fugue state called amnesia, caused by the need to repress your memory. That little girl is you, Karen. She's still out there. You have to find her again in that horrible place you left her. Or you'll just keep running the rest of your life. Thank you. What was my maiden name? Coulter. Coulter. Mm -hmm. Did I ever mention Cindy last? No, not that I recall. What about this? Oh. You put that up in the attic when we first got married. I haven't seen it since. Wish I could remember. Hmm. And these are my things. Why can't I remember this? Don't do this. Don't do this. I don't know if it's going to hurt you and keep you from us. I want you to be happy. I want you to feel loved. Here. Let me keep you safe. I can't. I'm sorry. Hmm. I understand. I have to leave. Where? You going back to him?
No, I forbid it. You what? You're just running away from yourself. Your place is right here. Not Southport, not Carson, but right here. You're afraid? Mm, no. I'm afraid for you. I know what I'm afraid of. And it scares me to death. Why are you afraid? What are you afraid I'm going to find? Yes, I'd like to know if you ever had a student here by the name of Emily Coulter. I'm sorry, but I can only release information to the student or her immediate family. I'm Emily Coulter. What year? 1981. There's no Coulter. Sorry. What about a Cindy Last? I'm really not supposed to be releasing information like this. Please. I just want to be sure I'm at the right school. Please. It's important. Okay. Same year? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, here she is. Cynthia Last, class of 81.
Karen? What are you doing out here in the rain, huh? Karen? I... I don't know. I've been to every hotel and motel and... Carson, looking for you. Come on, let's get dry. Think I'm the only guy in the world engaged to three women at the same time. That's not funny. Thought it was bad enough proposing to you once. Who's this? That's Cheryl Johnson. I looked in the phone book, but there's three pages of Johnson's. Something happened to me here. At that house. Did anyone live there? It didn't look like it. I found this in my jacket pocket. Go ahead. your room? What do you want? I can't stay here. Home, Cindy. They found the car with you in it, but your mother was gone. Gone where? Just vanished right into oblivion. Oblivion ain't so bad. You ought to try some. Is this my mother? That's right. The apple never falls too far from the tree, does it? She left. Child abandonment is what I think the police called it. I don't remember her. It's always been your way of dealing with the ugly truth, even back then. When they pulled you out of that car, you couldn't remember your own name, much less what happened. You were as gone as she was. What about her father? He took off, too. Where? Went out for a pack of cigarettes one day, and we never saw him again. We? Yes, dearie, we. I'm your stepmommy. <laughs> Not legally, of course. I mean, I never adopted you or nothing. You raised me here? Yeah. Real palace, ain't it? And what happened to her dad? Killed trying to break into a house. Probably so drunk he thought it was his. Police ruled it a case of mistaken identity. <laughs> How's that for irony? When did he die? What does it matter? Dead is dead. It matters to me. Why? You didn't matter to him. I got stuck with you for all those years. And you walked off and left me too. I'm sorry. You got what you came for. Take it and get out.
Jessica? Sweetheart, it's your mother. I'm so proud of you. Oh, that's wonderful. I miss you too. But I'll be home soon. Yes, I promise. Tell Daddy I called, okay? I'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. That, that was Jessica. I heard. I'm checked out. You ready? You're not coming back, are you? I won't do to Jessica what my mother did to me. So you're going back to them? To her. For her. What about me? What about Paul? Is that corn just still up in the air? My life is up in the air. Why can't you understand that? You would have made a beautiful bride. here for you anymore I am home the one you made for me my father was shot here wasn't he leave me alone why don't you tell me the truth because it's mine it's my truth my legacy I saw something I remembered something what is it ask him ask your husband what you saw he knows He's always known. Paul. He came here before you were ever married. Of course, you turned into Emily by then. You knew. You knew all along. You wanted to make sure he wasn't buying a pig and a poke. Ain't that right? Why didn't you tell me? Go ahead. Tell her what she saw. You saw her kill your father. You had an argument with him that night. It was about me, wasn't it? Get your hands off me! I tried to save you from all this. You didn't need to know this. You were happy. I was empty! You had me, and then we had we had Jessica. We built a family. That's what you wanted. That's what you needed. Jesse. And if you want to see her again, you're going to come home with me right now. I mean it, Emily. Forget about all this. It's not important anymore. Let's get in the car. Get in the car. No! Get in the car. I'm leaving you. I'm taking Jessica, and you can't stop me. No one is taking my daughter away from me. Mommy! Stop it! I live alone! 
You get back in the car or I'm leaving you here. I didn't leave you. You left me on the beach. You are delusional, Emily. Are you coming or not? Want the truth? I'll show you the truth. Up here on the left. Father's fishing cabin. used to bring women home late at night when she was working into my bed. He didn't want her to smell them on her sheets. But it was you. Stop it. He warned me never to tell. Cindy, please. I remember him smiling as he began to Stop undress. It. What happened to my mother, Lois? Fuck. 
Forget about her. Still out there, isn't she? You're not responsible. All this time you knew and you didn't do anything. I was scared. When you didn't remember, I thought it was a blessing. A second chance for you. I tried to make it up to you, Cindy, but you never really forgot. You always hated me. You just couldn't remember why. You were free and I envied it. I had a right to know. And I had a right to my own life. He didn't want you, you understand? He left you. He said he'd come back, and he never did. But he did come back. After he'd been gone for years. He had no remorse. Not for you or me or even her. And I remembered then. Yeah. And you shot him. Yeah. I saw the fear in your eyes. And I heard your scream. And when he tried to come after you... It's over now. It's okay. It's okay. My mother gave it to me. Maybe someday you'll give it to your daughter. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Lois, thank you. Be happy, Cindy Last. Hi. How was school? Okay. Your dad called and wanted me to tell you that he'd pick you up. Mommy! You're back! I promised, didn't I? This is a surprise. I'm sure it is. Does Paul know you're here? He will. You have all your stuff? I missed you. I missed you more. What do you think you're doing? I was just going to call you. I asked you a question. I'm taking Jessica and leaving. <laughs> I don't think so. Come on, Jessica, over here. Now, come on. I told you before, you are unfit. I don't want you, I don't want you near her. You got that? Let's go. It's all about control, isn't it? You being in absolute control. I'm not gonna stand here and listen to all this. And Emily, what a perfect woman she was for you. So desperate that she gave up the little bit that was still left of her just to please you. When I found you, you had nothing, and you were nothing. And I gave you what you wanted. I gave you a life. I gave you an identity. You replaced me. Insult by insult, humiliation by humiliation. I remember now. You beat me down until you had what you wanted. And then, to make sure that I still knew that I wasn't good enough, you started sleeping with her. You're a very sick, disturbed woman. And I've got stacks of psychiatric and police reports to prove it. No one is going to believe I wasn't anything but loving and patient with you. I'll tell the truth. All those things I saw, I heard, they weren't just bad dreams like you said. All right, that's enough, Jessica. You're right, Paul, that is enough. You cannot come back here and pretend that you aren't anything but what I made you. How does it feel to be out of control? You don't have the guts to do this, Emily. I am not your Emily anymore. You can have him. I think we have some time to make up for. Oh, yeah. But what do you say we start this night? Okay. Let's stop and get some ice cream. Can I use the TV? 
Auntie. No, that's my word. You have to find another one. Okay. Let's see. I got one. Where? On the patrol car that's pulling us over. Mind stepping out of the vehicle, ma'am? You forgot to signal a while back? I know. I was confused. Well, people have to know where you're going, otherwise somebody could get hurt. I'm sorry. Need to see some identification, please. My name is Cindy Last. This is my daughter Jessica. And I'm going home. Welcome home. <laughs> 